There is something about the backbone of a musical ensemble that sets the beat that keeps us all together. And at Westchester University, Matthew Earl Wyckoff is doing just that. A lot of the students come to Westchester with an interest in music education. Matt is one of the only students here who currently uh, is in the percussion studio as a percussion major, but really started on another instrument or uh, at least came to us a little later. I had, I thought he's played like marimba his entire life and percussion his entire mm -hmm. life, but that's not the case. He just kind of picked it up his last oh, year. Oh yeah, like, yeah, he just like, it's like, oh yeah, cool, I'll just learn this instrument and become incredibly amazing and win all these competitions. <laughs> yeah, it's really. fine, don't worry about it. I think a lot of students are drawn to the marimba just because it is a little off the beaten path. So the static pitch is there? Yeah. Bring out the left hand in those cases. The ability to, to use four mallets, two per hand, and sometimes even more than that, sometimes six mallets, three per hand. He's the most funny guy in the world, but he's also the most passionate guy in the world, you know? I would like to write jokes for other people. <laughs> I think the delivery, the way you do it, is like, is definitely very specific. I don't think anyone could capture that. I, I guess, you know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I remember in a, in a classroom, like theory class, he would, uh, he would always joke around. He would say things very loudly, and the teacher would ignore him. <laughs> I would laugh at them because they were funny, and then I would get in trouble for it. <laughs> I think he's going to go to grad school. He could honestly do anything with drum corps if he wanted to as well. He's Absolutely. so involved. He also has a, has a very deep-seated desire to teach music, and I think he's... he's very adept at that too. And he's so motivated too that like anything that he could want to get, I'm sure he, would, he could attain with no problem. His mom is a music teacher, so I think that uh, his mom has instilled that love of teaching in him and I'm sure that he wants to, to emulate what he's seen his mom do throughout his life.
O-M-G-S-M-H. Unreal. Young man, Matthew, tell me about your practice regimen and the dedication you have to have in order to do that. Uh, I mean, I guess it's like a mixture between, um, you know, you have to build the muscles in your arms, but <laughs> I, I know that sounds totally weird. Um, but you, you, I don't know, I guess you also have to just like kind of feel it. They, they just need to be like extensions of your hands, I guess. Tell me you started in second grade playing chopsticks like I did. Yeah, I definitely. Okay, good, I feel better now. And your pianist is? Uh, this is Dr. Carl Cranmer from Westchester University. Doctor, thank you. One more time, please. 